Welcome to A Closer Look. I'm your host, Linda Fontaine. My special guest this hour is an old friend of ours from the station who has moved on to the Kingsport Chamber of Commerce, Stephanie Hernandez. She is membership events coordinator for Kingsport Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for being here, Stephanie. Thank you so much, Linda. I appreciate it. Oh, anytime. So talk to me. You guys have a brand new event. I can't wait to hear about it. Yes, we do. We are so very excited. We are going to be having the Tri-Cities New Year's Eve Bash, and that's going to be at Meadowview Convention Center on New Year's Eve, obviously, and it's going to start at 9 p.m., and we are going to have a live band that's going to play music throughout the decades, so we're going to take a blast from the past and have just a fun night. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, I can't wait. That's going to be so exciting. Yeah. So what's going to separate this from your annual you know, chamber big party that you guys usually have like around February, I think. How's this one going to be different? It's going to be different. We are actually thinking of the idea of letting everyone dress in their favorite decade. So people can come out with their 20s, 30s, 40s, whichever decade um, appeals to them the most, they can come out and dress up that way. And it, it'll just be a fun night. And that actually helps us keep it different from the annual dinner because you know annual dinner is a black tie affair mm -hmm. i love that idea i really do because okay some people still have their halloween outfits and a lot of people you know that are older like to dress up like the 70s and 80s and things like that but we don't have to limit it to those decades 20s 30s 40s you know the 50s bring out your poodle skirt i mean dress like elvis it could be really fun i like that idea oh absolutely we are so very excited we're excited to bring it to the region because we have had so many people in the past that have called the chamber and want to know what's going on for new year's mm -hmm. and as far as you know we know the region hasn't had like a big new year's eve bash so that's what we are stepping up to the plate and wanting to provide that for our region for sure now, what are the hours for this event? How can people get tickets? Give me all that. Okay, perfect. So tickets are gonna go on sale on Black Friday. I thought that would be a great little <laughs> <laughs> idea since everybody's out shopping anyway. They're gonna be $75 a piece, and that's gonna include the entertainment for the night. They're gonna get a breakfast bar. That's gonna start at midnight. Um, they're also going to get a champagne toast that is uh, sponsored by Chance Scott Kia. He is going to supply champagne for everyone at midnight. That way that we can all bring in the new year the correct way. I love so, that. So the event's actually going to start at 9 p.m. And it's going to go until everybody's done with the breakfast bar. And, it, and the breakfast bar starts at midnight. So. so who knows? So who knows? I love that. You're leaving it open just for fun. That sounds wonderful. And this is at Meadowview, as you said, $75. Yes. How can people get tickets? You can go to kingsportchamber.org mm -hmm. and there'll be a link on there that you can purchase tickets there. And that will be going on sale on Black Friday, like I said. Mm -hmm. um, and also there'll be special room rates for Meadowview. Okay. So if people are wanting to spend the night, um, that way that they you know, don't have to drive after they drink champagne. Um, you definitely can take advantage of some room rate discounts for Meadowview that night. And also they're going to be offering in the Meadows, the restaurant at Meadowview, um, dinner. You can actually reserve reservations oh, to go to nice. dinner before you come to the, the dance party. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's really cool. So do you know what the special room rates are by chance? I do not. We're, Metaview is still working that out with us right now, and there, you're going to actually be able to pre-order wine as well, so you can have some wine put on your table if you would like. Oh, I love that. Yes. Okay, so do we know who the band is? I've got it narrowed down to two right now. Um, one is from Nashville, Tennessee, and the other one is from Atlanta, but I have not confirmed that 100% yet. So stay tuned for further details on the band. I will get it posted as soon as I get one confirmed for sure. And I'm sure they are fabulous. As long as they're dancing bands. Yes. That's all that really, really matters. That's right. <laughs> and both of the bands have like a 12 person band. So they're gonna bring different instruments. Like I said, they got vocalists that are absolutely amazing. Just a fun, fun time for everyone. And like I said, we're gonna go through the decades of music, so. Ah, oh, I love that. So again, this is the New Year's Eve Bash. Yes. And this is a brand new event that you guys are putting on. I love that, $75, and that includes a lot of stuff. Now, is it gonna be a cash bar? Yes, there will be a cash bar, and you can order from your table or from the um, 
window at Metaview, you can order appetizers and things like that. And you will have some little snacks on the table whenever you get there. Um, but so you will have a full service bar. Oh, very good. Because some people might get a little hungry before midnight. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know, when you're dancing. Yeah, you are burning some calories and you need to put some food back in your body. <laughs> That's right. We need that energy, especially at my age, to stay up till midnight, girl. You don't know how hard that becomes. It gets harder every year. I've heard many people tell me that, Linda. So I need you and Steve to come out and kind of talk and entertain everybody. <laughs> if we can stay awake. So what we got to do is take naps. And yes. then we come. We got to make this a big event, you know, yeah. make that reservation for dinner beforehand. Yes. Have an all night fun dance and party, then just spend the night there right there at Meadowview. Get up the next morning, have a little breakfast at, at the Meadows and then, then call it a day and start the new year. I think that sounds like a fabulous time. And I really like your idea of dancing through the decades and everybody just dressing up fun. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I mean, it's good to do cocktail. That would be fun too. Mm -hmm. That's more like the big, chamber dinner y'all do this kind of sh you know keeps it fresh and and, and changes it a little bit keeps it separated it and and makes it something different for the area because you know i don't even think that we have like a dress up halloween big party that we do so i, th I think that's we'll see a, here we go yeah i think it's a great idea you're wrapping it all up in one event <laughs> i like that hey you're you're, yeah. you're a good person for this position stephanie i like your thinking thank you now so let's much. talk about the holiday breakfast yes Tell me about that. So the holiday breakfast is an event that we started. It actually kind of spins off of our annual dinner. Our annual dinner usually has 1,700 in attendance. Wow. So that event has, has grown and grown and grown. Thanks to Bob Figgins, he's done an amazing job with that event. But usually what happens at the annual dinner is you have your outgoing chair mm -hmm. and your ingoing chair kind of explaining the highlights and talking about the future for the chamber. Mm -hmm. So since the annual dinner got so big, we actually created a different event and that's called the holiday breakfast. Okay. And what the holiday breakfast is, is where we have our outgoing chair, which is Brian Miller. He's going to go through all of the highlights of 2021 with our chamber. And then you're going to have Russ Rogers, that's our incoming chair. He's going to be going through some of the things that we have on the agenda for 2022. Um, and then we also, present the Lifetime Member Award. Oh, wow. Yes, so that's gonna be a surprise for everyone. Um, this event is actually free to attend. Oh. You just have to email Justin Hartzell at kingsportchamber.org and he will get you RSVP'd in. That way we can keep a number on who's gonna be attending. And when is this? This is going to be on Friday, November the 19th at 7.30 a.m. at Metaview in the Grand Ballroom. Okay. And we have over 57 sponsors. Our community is so wonderful and helps the Chamber so much. We love our community, the business community that we do have. They support us in so many of our events and we could not do this without them. So we appreciate each and every one of those sponsors that are sponsoring our holiday breakfast. You guys are doing a lot of fun stuff. Oh, so the are. holiday breakfast, yes. again, this is coming up on the 19th. Yes, absolutely. So I'm trying to think of the date today. So that's like next week. Yes, next Friday. Next Friday, yes. all right. 7.30 in the morning at mm -hmm. Meadowview. It's free, you just have to send an email to Justin Hartzell at what was that? Kingsportchamber.org. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just, pick that up for me, Stephanie. Okay, <laughs> kingsportchamber.org. That sounds pretty cool, and you'll have a nice little roundup of the year past yes. and then getting ready for the year ahead. Right. And then you're going to announce a Lifetime Achievement Award. That's going to be exciting. Lifetime Member Award, yes. Member. Yes, Lifetime Member. And what's also exciting is you get to have a free breakfast. You, Metaview is going to be catering the breakfast for us, so you get to come in, enjoy the, the, the performance or the show that the people are going to be putting on, because we are going to be having some of the local bands performing, our wow. DB band, a Westridge band, a Severe Middle School band, and Robinson band are all going to be performing there. And we're going to have a harpist that's going to be there that evening, oh. or that morning, I'm sorry. But yes, so we've got some entertainment there. And, and like I said, you get some free food with it as well. And how long is the breakfast going to last? A couple hours? It's usually an hour and a half. Okay. Um, and also the um, Lifetime Member Award, he will be rec um, 
recognized that morning as well. So that'll be exciting for everybody to see who that is. And we'll talk about some of the accomplishments that he's made in the community. That's a little hint, it's a he. It is a he. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. He okay. or she, maybe. I don't he know. or she, but I think it kind of, no. I can't get. I can't give any hints away. It's a he or a she. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The holiday breakfast. Now, I wish I could go, but Steve and I will be on the radio. Aww. No fair, because that sounds awesome. I would be there in a heartbeat. Yes. I wish you guys could come. It would be very uh, wonderful for you guys to be able to attend. Now, are you going to be streaming this? Yes, we are. We are going to be doing a live stream with it. So this is, I think this is the first year that we're going to do a uh, live streaming with this event because there's so many people that want to attend, but you know, they just can't get off of work or yeah. they still have COVID concerns and things like that. So we do want to make it open to everyone so they can enjoy the, the show as well. Well, that'll be me. I'll tell Steve that Aww. in between breaks, let's, let's stream this, see what's going on at Meadowview with Stephanie in the chamber. So yeah. that'll be something fun. And I think we're going to have over 400 different people um, attend so oh, wow. that's you know it's a great opportunity for mm -hmm. businesses to come out and do networking events too all right that sounds fabulous let's go over this real quick the sure. the uh, New Year's Eve bash people need to go to kingsportchamber.org order tickets this is a new event it's gonna be fabulous check it out and then you have the holiday breakfast coming up next Friday morning free to the public a way to celebrate the chamber see what's happened in the past and what to look forward into the future these like these sound like great events. I can't wait to have you back on to talk about the big event next year. Hey. So thank you, Stephanie, for being here. I appreciate your time. Thank Always you so a font much. of information. And thank you for joining us today. This is a closer look. <laughs>